Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candice, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really impeccable name. At least I think it's pretty impeccable. Boys and girls, you know what time it is. It's time for the checklist. 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 Just like this. Yay! All right, boys and girls, have you had your baths or showers yet? Check. Have you put on your PJs? Check. Have you brushed your teeth? Are they shiny and white and gleamy and glistening and clean and your breakfast fresh? Check. Do you have a cuddle buddy? At least one, maybe two, to keep you company while you're snug as a bug in a rug under your blanket? Check. How about a nightlight? Got a nightlight? Need it just in case for safety purposes to navigate through the house if you got to get up and go to the restroom in the middle of the night. Check. Um, da -da 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 -da. Do you have, or should I say, have you given your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family and your pets that are in the house with you? Check. Have you said your prayers? If you have not said your prayers yet, please, oh please, make sure you say your prayers before you drift off into dreamland, okay? All right, boys and girls, let's get down to the story. It's a leapfrog book. It's Ozzy and Mac, written by Trish Holland and illustrated by Dan Crawl. All right, we're going to read this book tonight. Remember, I grab them wherever I can get them, but I will show you that this is definitely from a learning reading series. And, you know, I've, I've had I had some dealing with the vowels. I think I've read in the past. Here we go. Ozzy and Mac. I like this page because it has the alphabet letters on it. OK, at the top above those ABCs, it has the word boy and girl. And just for fun, I'm going to sing the alphabet right now. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not coming out with an album anytime soon, but... Hey, enjoy singing your ABC songs. Here we go, boys and girls. Ozzy Otter broke a rule when he brought his pet to school. In the pack on Ozzy's back sat a little bug named Mac. Not one sound, do not forget. Ozzy said to Mac, his pet, you'll go home if teacher sees. Stay inside and don't move, please. All right. Ooh, Ozzy brought his pet to school. He wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, Ozzy. But that speedy bug jumped out onto Foster's fox's snout. Foster whispered, catch him quick, or I think I may be sick. Ozzy reached, but Mac hopped over onto Sylvia. Squirrel's shoulder. Sylvie said, your bug is here, hiding right behind my ear. Uh-oh. The bug done got loose. Now, see, that's why he wasn't supposed to bring him to school. See there what you did, Ozzy? Mrs. Bunny turned around. No more noise. Please sit back down. Time to sing our ABCs. Then we'll count our one, two, threes. Ozzy Foster, Sylvie too, did not know quite what to do. So they sang out loud and strong. On the floor, Mac danced alone. Uh oh, so hey, the bug got taste. Jamming to the alphabet song. Come on now, y'all know that's the jam. Come on now. Ozzy tried a tackle. Ozzy tried a tackle then. Mac just bounced away again. Next, he leaped up on a shelf. Mac would not behave himself. Mac turned cartwheels way up high. This is trouble, Ozzy sighed. 
Mac flew out across the room. Then there came a great big boom. Hold on before I show you that great big boom. Oh, oh man, Mac is on the attack, but not in a bad way. He's just happy and excited and just being Mac. All right, papers fluttered in the air, books and pages everywhere. Eek, shrieked the teacher. What is that? Mac is who she pointed at. And there's that big boom I had to say before I showed you the page because I was trying to keep the rhyme scheme together. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is Mac. He loves to play. He'll be good. Please let him stay. Teacher said, you know the rule. You may not bring pets to school. A plan was needed. Ozzy knew. Watching Mac, he found a clue. I can read this book to you. That is something I can do. Oh, interesting. Well, let's see. Students listened like they should. Teacher saw Mac could be good. Miss Bunny scratched her head, tapped her foot, and then she said, I will change that silly rule. You may all bring pets to school. Ozzy Otter shouted, yay! Teacher says that Mac can stay. Oh, wonderful. Look, now the school, the class is going to go to the animals once everybody starts bringing their pets in. Uh-oh. In the morning, pets come too. How the story circle grew. On the top of teacher's head sat a little bug named Ned. Oh, wow, another pet bug. All the students laughed out loud. Mrs. Bunny beamed so proud. Oh, wow. She had to do a good thing. She let them all bring their pets. Y'all see the story circle got bigger. They don't run out of room in the class. Oh, they all got pet bugs, so that's cute. Oh, here's our ABCs. On this page, I'll just show it to you because it's the alphabet. A, B, C, D. In the morning, brush your teeth. E, F, G, H, I. Something, something. I don't remember the words of that. And I should because they play the heck out of that commercial. I tried downloading the app, but they wanted me to pay into it. And I was like, no, nope, I'm good. Oh, let's see what we got here. On this page, we got words, guys. Ozzy's playing an electrical guitar. Ozzy's rhyme time. Let's go. Dog, fog, bog, hog, log, frog. Mug, jug, plug, bug, slug, rug. Cat, hat, bat, rat, mat. Sat. I threw that in just to keep it even with the words. Well, this is why I like this book. This is a really good book because they're giving you words and teaching you how to rhyme and helping you learn how to read. Oh, there's a lot of words on this page. They're like on all of the leaves. Let me see if I can get them all in. We got cub, bit, mad, kit, tap, not, rip, pet, note, made, peat, ripe, kite, bite, cube, tape. All right. So on one page, it has the treehouse. This is the treehouse telephone. And on one page, it has the short vowels. And on the other page, the silent E is kicking in. So all the vowels get to say their names and the words. Oh, man, you see? Lots of words in this book. I might have even overlooked a couple. Then we have the River Roundup. And on the River Roundup page, we have dock, picnic, snorkel, canoe, paddle, nest, Hive, school of fish, waterfall, and dive. So like literally, if you're looking at this picture, take a good look. Those words, you can find the actual things that match the words on the page. So if you want to round up, 
You can find everything you need on that page for that list of words that I just put out there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the end. Well, that was a really cool book. I'm going to clap for it. Yay. Anything helping with literacy and learning how to read, I'm all for it. I am here for it. And boys and girls, so are all my cuddle buddies. All my cuddle buddies are here for it. Yay. I got too many. I don't sleep with them. I promise you I don't. I'd be on the floor. Yeah. There's no room in the bed for me with all these cuddle buddies. What am I going to do? Ah, I can't take it. All right, boys and girls, let me quit being silly. Now, let me let you get ready to go off into dreamland. We know how to do it. Come on now. It's really simple. You can do it. Yes, you can. Let me tell you what's the plan. Simply close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. It's all up to you. All right. You just simply relax your body and let your body rest. Be safe. Be calm. Be quiet. Drift on off into dreamland and dream that special dream. Ta-da! Just like that, you make the magic. So let me get out your way and let you get to it. I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.